Hi everybody, it's Jennifer with Creative Cricut Designs at blogspot.com and I have another video and it is going to be a scrapbook layout and I have two cartridges that I'm working with today. One is the Create a Critter cartridge and the Just Because cards. For the Create a Critter cartridge I'm working from page 68 and what I'm using is the Bumblebee and the Beehive. From the Just Because cards I'm working from page 56 and I'm using the word phrase, the be happy. And I'll give you those measurements as I go through my layout. So I'm starting with a piece of craft cardstock. It's 12 by 12. And then I have a piece of yellow pattern cardstock. And this is cut at 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. I have some black stitching I did around the yellow. Um, paper and this paper is from the Colorbox um, set that you can get at Walmart for five dollars and I am going to be using two pictures actually they're two mats because I don't have pictures for them yet so I just thought I would get ahead of the game and the paper that I used on this as well is also from the Colorbox set that goes with this one and those are just some craft cardstock. They're 4x4 four four pictures uh, mats. And then I have some black thread, which is actually embroidery thread, wrapped around it because I don't have any twine that's black. So I kind of compromise on that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is start with my title, which is Be Happy. And this was cut from the Just Because cartridge. And I have it cut at, I believe, let's see, I think it was seven, seven inches I have that cut at. And I did not cut the happy, I just cut it out as one, and then I did some stitching to kind of bring it out. <coughs> Different stitching on the B and then on the happy. And that's going to go up in the upper left hand corner. And let's see, I'm going to get my tweezers in my Zig2A glue out. And I'm getting some scrap paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this directly onto my layout. So I'm just kind of tracing it with my Zig2A um, glue pen. And then just pressing down on it. And then I have my two mats, which I'm not really sure how I want them yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do is adhere my beehive, which I have cut out of uh, craft cardstock and then a light blue um, recollections paper. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that up on some foam squares. Okay, and that's going to go on the bottom, the lower left hand corner. I also have my very first bee. He is measured at one and a half inches and he fits perfectly inside this hole. And uh, my beehive is cut at four and three quarter inches. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere. I'm just going to adhere him directly on. So he's cut out one and a half inches. And I'm just using some um, two of glue on that. So 
So there that part is done. And then I have a bigger bee. He is cut at three inches. And I also added googly eyes to, um, let's go ahead and pop him up, googly eyes to my bees. And I just used um, two different sizes, depending on the size of the bee. And he's going to go right there. And then my next one, which is cut at two and a half inches. He's going to go over here. And he I just applied directly down. And then my next one, my next bee is cut at two inches. And we're going to go ahead and put him on a foam square. And he's going to go about right there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my um, photo mat using my ATG gun. And that one I'm going to adhere like so. And let's see. I'm not exactly sure how I wanted to do this one. If I just wanted it flat down or angled it. I think I'm going to just go with straight down to go with the other one. Because my beehive is already tilted. So I'm just going to kind of work it that way. And I'm just kind of trying to line it up with the top one. And then I can move my B right like that. Very simple layout. I'm just using two cartridges and some cardstock. So this is my finished um, scrapbook layout. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.